Okay, so today we're going to learn about another way to learn uh, programming for free online. So this is the Khan Academy uh, computer programming curriculum. So this is a really, really great way to get started, especially if you've never learned anything about programming before, because it, it takes you through the basics um, in an interactive way using modern tools. Um, so they introduce you to a language called JavaScript, which is a very popular language for web development. And they do their tutorials in such a way that um, you're introduced to concepts that are very visual. So you're doing drawing, you're doing animation, you're doing things that have um, uh, a feedback loop where you can actually see the results as you change your code. And this is really good for reinforcing that learning and, and giving um, people the reward after they've actually written their code versus other ways of teaching programming. So I'm a big fan of uh, this approach. Um, if you look at their computer programming curriculum, we see this unit one as an introduction to JavaScript um, using drawing and animation. Um, and it will go over some of the basics here, you know, the coloring variables, animation. So we're just going to look at a few of the, the, the first um, sections of this. And you'll see there's other units on HTML, so actually making web pages, SQL, which is a query language that's used by uh, relational databases. Uh, and then there's some advanced JS for making games and visualizations um, and some simulations down here and then uh, making web pages interactive and using jQuery, which is a popular web framework. Uh, and then even in unit eight, this is a good opportunity to kind of um, learn from people who have actually walked the walk and become professional uh, software engineers. So unit eight has a section where it introduces to people who have different kind of roles um, in computer programming. So there's many different professions that um, you can go into with a computer science or a computer programming background. Uh, and Unit 8 is a really good way to kind of uh, get people familiar with the kind of careers that you can have if you uh, learn how to code. So I'm just going to start this intro to programming section. So the way that Khan Academy likes to do things is that usually they'll have a, a video that kind of introduces a concept um, and then they'll walk you through kind of the basics of programming. So in this case, um, uh, I won't run the whole thing, but... Uh... Hi, welcome to programming. If you've never learned to program before, you might be wondering what programming actually is. So it kind of does this introduction where it kind of gives you a background on why people use programs and where you see them in everyday life. Um, it's a really good kind of um, background. And if you've never seen the, the Khan Academy uh, curriculum platform, it's using Google Classroom. Um, you can see the transcript here uh, get some information here. And then there's also uh, an area for people to comment and ask questions and, and get some responses from the community, which is pretty active. Um, and then we can go into an actual article, which gives you some more information. Um, and then it's going to walk you through um, the exercises that are available here. So I'll just jump into uh, one of the exercises. They have this interactive format, which is pretty interesting, where um, you play a video, it walks you through the steps, and then at any time you can pause it and change the code, and then you'll see it reflected on the right. By making a face with circles. To draw a circle, we need to use the ellipse command. I'll type ellipse in this editor. After I write a command name in a program, I always follow it with parentheses and a semicolon. So this basically gives you the, the fundamentals of you know, running a function in JavaScript, um, it enforces the semicolon um, and introduces you to the, the concept of parameters. Um, this is a really, really uh, basic instruction here, and it shows you kind of um, the x, y width and height parameters that go to this ellipse function, which will draw uh, basically an ellipse on the right side, which is um, this right section here is actually just the HTML5 canvas. Um, and they basically have an API that they make available for people learning how to code, um, which makes it very easy to draw forms here. Uh, and that's what we're going to use to compose our drawing. So I'm just going to skip ahead to the point where they have uh, the drawing pretty much done. So at this stage, they've you know drawn a face with uh, four circles. So the big circle for the, the face, and then the eyes, and then the mouth. Um, and then, of course, you can modify the, the values here to make things a different size as you would. So the, the important part here is just to learn how to play around 
um, with things here. And there is a slider that you can use to interactively move and see the effect of the, the change of the variable in an easier way. So uh, very simple example, but pretty powerful because it's already introduced the concept of parameters, the function, uh, the fact that you need to use a semicolon and just um, being able to identify what, which parameters do what. Um, and then there's always a challenge. So this challenge was basically to make a snowman. I've already completed it. So um, you start by drawing uh, an ellipse, and then you want to draw another ellipse, and then you have to understand the relationship between the position. So the, the second parameter is the y um, position um, on the screen. So this is the y axis, and this is the x axis. So um, as you move in y, you can uh, change the position of the circle. Uh, and then, of course, the drawing order matters. So the, the one that you draw last will be the last one to draw. So it'll draw on top um, of the other ones. So you can see the biggest um, circle is this one here at the bottom, where it's 150 by 150 width and height. And then the, the medium sized one in the middle is the 108 by 108. Um, and then the 85 by 85 is the larger one. You'll notice here that um, if I hover over the um, ellipse parameters, then it'll give me the documentation. Um, basically, it says it draws an ellipse, the, telling you what the first two parameters are and the width and the height. Um, there's also a section down here that gives you the documentation. So this is actually the list of the library um, API. Um, so which forms you can draw using you know, rect, triangle, line, point, arc, bezier, which draws um, curves with control points. Um, and then also quad, and there's even a function to uh, make an image, so draw an image on your canvas. Uh, this one is just going to introduce some That's more really shapes. So let's just take a look. So here they're using the rect command, so it introduces this uh, new command, and then how the parameters are a little bit different, and then also the line function uh, to make this unibrow for the robot. Um, so pretty straightforward stuff, but it's a good way to introduce new functions and show that you can do different things uh, and, and introduce it to, to using the documentation for understanding how to use those commands. Uh, and then finally, the, the challenge. So they like to wrap up each unit um, with a challenge that uh, requires you to make a, a picture, basically. So um, the, the goal here was to make this uh, scene with the snowman on top of a rectangle. Um, I guess, which is the ground, uh, and then have them draw some line arms. So this was a great uh, little uh, fundamental lesson on drawing basics. Uh, and then if we jump into this lesson, which is a little bit more fun, which is the coloring uh, with code lesson. So um, basically the goal here was to learn how to use commands like background, fill, and stroke um, to be able to change the color. So uh, for example, this background, function takes R, G, and B, um, which are the color values. Um, the, the values go from 0 to 255 because there's 8 bits, uh, if you're familiar with binary, um, per each color channel. So the R value, if I put it to 255 um, and then set the rest to 0, that would be completely red. And then if I did 255 and 0 here, that would be green. If I do zero here, you know, uh, zero, 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 of course, is black. Then 255 here would be blue for the blue channel. And then, of course, if I put all of them to 255, um, it will be white. So these are just basic commands. The fill command will fill um, the next shape or every other shape following that. So we do have to reset it here um, to change the color between the eyes and the face and the mouth. Um, and then the stroke is, you know, the perimeter, basically, um, this border um, of your shape. So you can change the, the width of this. Um, so if I use the slider, I can change. Um, right now we're just drawing a line, so we can make that line thinner or thicker based on what the stroke weight is. Uh, and then, of course, the color is set here. And I can just make that red. Uh, and there you have it. That's coloring with code. Um, there is a challenge here as well, which was, uh, yeah, to kind of make an image like this where you color the sun, and you have a little background for the snowman, and then you have grass in the bottom. Um, there's a little section here that um, talks about the documentation and how to read documentation. And this is basically something that programmers just um, 
do naturally and, and is a big part of, of learning how to code. You don't actually memorize all the docs and every single function that is available in a library uh, for a programming language. You end up looking up docs and a lot of the editors that we use to write code um, will autocomplete just kind of like these exercises do and, and give you kind of the, the signature of the functions, um, which tell you what parameter is what and how you can um, use those functions. Uh, and then finally, the, the last section here was just this uh, project, um, which was to make dinner. In this case, um, we tried to draw a chicken a drumstick. Uh, and this is supposed to be rice, I guess. I guess we can change the color of that um, if we really wanted to uh, make it look more like rice. So maybe if I um, fill um, right before I start drawing all these ellipses, And I can change the fill. Uh, let's make it white. Uh, maybe I'll make it a little bit grayish. Yeah, something like that. Uh, yeah, not too bad. Anyhow, so this was the project to just add things to a plate of dinner and to just learn how to play around with some of these functions. And, and of course, you can look to the documentation and kind of see which um, functions you want to make if you want to use the triangle function. Um, so, um, yeah, this was a good exercise. Um, you know, the rect function uh, is a little bit uh, different where it has the x, y, the width, and the height, um, whereas the ellipse function had the x. Well, actually, they're both the same signature, but. Um, the line, line function is a little bit different because the line takes the, the first point and then the last point. So the x1, y1, and then x2, y2. So if you use the line um, signature, it's a little bit different. Similarly with the triangle, there's three points. So you, you um, set the position for the three points and it'll draw the triangle. So this was a fun little exercise, you know, a really great little introduction into code using JavaScript. It's very visual, very rewarding very easy to understand what you're doing. Uh, it's not just, you know, your basic kind of hello world text output that, you know, we used to do uh, programming introductions with. Uh, and this is really fun. You know, a lot of people that learn programming will start off learning um, games or maybe computer animation and things like that. And it just keeps you a little bit more motivated um, in your journey to um, learning how to code. Um, and the next lesson introduces variables, of course, um, you know, a variable allows you to um, set a value and then be able to reuse it later in your code. So in this case, um, we have this um, character here with the eyes and the mouth, and we want to be able to modify the size of their eyes uh, and then reuse that value. So we set the eye value, uh, eye size here um, in the function, uh, and this is how we declare our variable by using the var keyword. Um, writing the name of our variable and then equals 50. So this is a, a nice little way to introduce variables as it you know, helps us to remove some of the redundancy that we had in the code before where you had all these numbers and some of them were repeated. So it just makes it a little bit easier. Um, there is another challenge here where we try to make this bunny with buck teeth uh, and then we use variables to uh, be able to quickly change the, the tooth size. So you know, if we use a slider, we can play around with how buck the buck teeth teeth are and this one we can play around with the eye size if we want to make the eyes really small really big so again very fun lesson um, really um, easy to understand the concepts here um, what else do we have oh yeah so the final challenge here is the funky frog um, where it's very similar you um, uh, the difference here is that they want you to use the xy um, position, um, which is basically the center of the ellipse, uh, and then be able to use that to position different um, parts of the drawing, different shapes um, relative to that position. So you can see here the xy parameter is being used, um, and then there's a little offset minus 50 or plus 50 to, to move things around and then to create this drawing um, of the frog with the big mouth and the eyes uh, for the pupils. Uh, and of course, if we want to change the pupil size, we can just do something like this. Whoops, make that 60. Ah, I'm actually moving the eyes, so I don't want to do that. Mm -hmm. 
So let's say I want to, yeah, that's the eyes, but I actually want the rectangle at the bottom here to change. So let's say this is 55, and this one is 45. Uh, so now it's a little bit more in the middle, and then we can even move this up uh, or the other way. One. There we go. So now the, the eyes are kind of more in the middle. So that is the challenge here. There is an, uh, an ability to do this thing called spin off, where you can basically save your project, um, the thing that you made with code here, uh, and be able to play around with it later. Uh, and then there is this little review section, which talks about the variables and how to use them, um, and you know gives you some details about uh, how you you know the naming conventions and, and what you can't do in a variable. Uh, and that just gives you kind of the, the basics of, of variables. So this is a nice little soft introduction, uh, which prepares you to go into lesson five, which is on animations. So I'm not going to go over the animation section here, um, but I just wanted to um, you know introduce the, the first few sections of the Intro to JS um, Khan Academy class and just give you um, kind of the basics of um, my take on it. I think it's a really great introduction. It's very easy to, to follow through. Um, very easy to, to learn on your own at your own pace. You don't necessarily need anyone walking you through this. And, you know, just going through this whole curriculum of, of the Khan Academy computer programming curriculum can really set you up for learning the basics, the fundamentals. And then you can, you know, try some more advanced um, tutorials. But they do have sections here where, you know, advanced JS games and visualizations, uh, making web pages so you can learn very specific skill sets that you may actually use. Um, and for a lot of programmers, actually making their first website is, you know, kind of the, the first way that they start to play around with code. Um, and it's a very practical thing, um, very easy to, to do with, with JavaScript and, and web development. Um, but another way is some people like to make games. So that's, you know, everyone loves games and, and it's a great you know, kind of way to start to learn how to program and what the basics of programming are. So that's my review of, uh, you know, the first few sections of the Khan Academy computer programming curriculum. I hope that um, this is a great resource for those who um, uh, try it and want to learn coding. And this is a great place to start. Thanks.